The Milwaukee Bucks just made a move that guarantees Giannis will never leave. When the Bucks became the sixth team to lose to an eighth seed in the first round of the playoffs, Giannis knew things had to change. He was starting to have second thoughts on whether he should stick around with the team that drafted him 10 years ago to try and win his second ring. He sent a message to the Bucks front office by hopping on a podcast saying he'd only be committed to staying with the team under one condition. I have to do whatever it takes for me to win and if there's a better situation for me to when the Larry O'Brien, I have to take that better situation. And it's safe to say they heard him loud and clear. What other superstar would be perfect to pair with Giannis than a seven-time All-Star in his 30s, whose Hall of Fame case only lacks an NBA title? See, despite not being one of the odds-on favorites to land Damian Lillard, the Bucks knew this was a deal they had to get done, since it technically killed three birds with one stone. We already know this move guarantees Giannis isn't going anywhere for now, but the first bird they really killed was preventing the heat from making the finals. Without Dame, the Heat are stuck with a disgruntled Tyler Harrow and Kyle Lowry as the team's point guard. Though the Lillard trade did end with the Celtics landing Drew Holiday, it did ruin the long-term plans for two other contending teams in the East. One of them is the New York Knicks. When they were also eliminated by the Heat in the 2023 playoffs, one thing became clear. Jalen Brunson is a star, but he's more Robin than Batman. With 10 first-round picks over the next six years and assets that can match match a superstar's contract, the Knicks were the team Bill Simmons guaranteed to have a superstar by next year, and we all know the superstar they'd only go for was Giannis. With that idea now out of the picture, the Knicks have to bet all their chips on R.J. Barrett becoming a superstar or wait for another team's long-term plans to fall apart. And that team is the Sixers. With all the star power the Bucks and Celtics added this offseason, the Sixers are in danger of losing all of theirs in the next six months, and could be more likely to go into a rebuild in a top-heavy East Eastern Conference. We saw what the Nets did once Kyrie wanted out, despite KD still having three years left on his contract. With Harden gone, it increases the chances that Embiid wants out as well, especially after he said this when they were eliminated in the 2023 playoffs. I can't win alone. I can't. Me and James, we just can't win alone. You know, that's why basketball is played 5-on-5. Five five, so, you know, we just need everybody to just you know, trying to keep finding ways to get better. While this still doesn't guarantee the Bucks will win the title, it's already done enough to make it easier for them to breeze past the East, weakening the futures of three other teams all at once in one genius move.